What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 5 of our Halo CE Lasso walkthrough. So start this up, this is Assault on the Control Room. We're going to get off the Pelican and immediately start throwing frag grenades at this door as it opens up. You want to throw them as fast as you can without having the first grenade that you threw kind of blow back the second grenade. If you throw them too fast, they will actually kind of start uh, sending the frags all over the map as they explode. So don't let that happen, just throw them and then have the first one explode and then throw the second one right away right after that so you can get... Uh, all the enemies to be kind of backed up in this tunnel here, and hopefully they will all die. Sometimes there's a survivor or two, so you want to be cautious as you kind of round the corner over here. And uh, you can see there, there was one grunt remaining. And ideally, all the grunts that die in here will explode and help you kill the elites and the remaining grunts. So hopefully there's just a big chain reaction. And uh, be careful when you walk in there because there might be some grunts that have not yet exploded right away. But we're going to wait here for this elite to pass by. So you can see him right here coming from the right to the left. That's the direction I want him walking in. He kind of walks back and forth. So wait for him to walk towards the left and you can come up behind him and assassinate him like that. And then we will focus on these grunts. There's one more elite remaining in here. You can see him walking in the middle of the room. He'll just be kind of patrolling randomly throughout the middle of the room here. And then there's a bunch of grunts around. Uh, on the outskirts along with some jackals at the far end of the room. So I'm going to try to kill this grunt and hopefully the explosion will kill the elite. It looks like it weakened him. So he has no shield now, so that's good news. And we'll just take him out. And the thing about this room is you want to do it slowly and cautiously because we want to have as much health as possible and shield going into the next section because that is where we are going to pull off the banshee grab trick, a new trick. That was not out when I uh, released these uh, original guides for Lasso back five years ago. So a new trick to get down and uh, skip the whole level. It's much easier than the bridge fall exploit. So just conserve as much health and shield as you can. If your shield does drop, don't worry about it too much because we have jackals at the far end of the room, which we're going to use to get our shield back. So it's not the end of the world that right now I don't have a shield. Just make sure you don't take too much health damage because you can't get that back. There's no health packs between now and when we're going to do the banshee grab but we're winding down in this room here there's just one grunt and a couple jackals remaining so i want to try to kill this grunt without the grunt exploding and killing the jackals because like i mentioned i want to close the gap on the jackals uh and be able to smack them because i get my shield back instantly when i melee them obviously from the black eye skull so that is how we're going to get our shield back and i just want to make sure when i kill the grunt he's far enough away that his explosion doesn't kill those jackals before i could smack him so Kind of taking my time, just moving around the room. This is a circular room, so you can kind of change angles, change positions, and get the enemies to kind of move around a little bit if you need to. So we killed the grunt there. The two jackals are coming up, and we're going to smack these two. You can see as uh, they were approaching, they couldn't really get a shot on me because I was behind a corner, so I just waited for them to get close and I could smack them. And then be aware that there's three grunt reinforcements that uh, come through the door there, so don't just go charging through the door thinking you're done or you're home free. You do have to kill those guys, but once you hear Cortana's dialogue start up, or you just see it on your screen there on the bottom, you could actually move forward. That means all the enemies are dead. So here I skipped ahead actually to a different run. Uh, this is just on Legendary. I have the bandana skull on just so I could easily show you what to do. There's a lot of little uh, points where you want to go to here for this trick. So you can see here there's these tiles on the bridge here. And on the right side, you can see there's one, two, three, four. This is the tile we want to stand on, this fourth tile on the right. So one, two, three, four. And then where we want to position ourselves on this tile here uh, is we actually want to put our reticle on the tile uh, or on the line here rather where it meets this tile up here, this bigger tile. So we're going to put our reticle, line it up right on the line, and we actually want to kind of go a little to the left here. So I'm going to place myself right here. Uh, this is the first point you want to go to and line yourself up at when you get to the bridge here. So once you do that, you're going to look up, and there's going to be a banshee that's kind of swooping in from over here, and it will always swoop in from the left, and then kind of at this point where I'm looking right now, it'll start turning towards you and start firing at you and flying directly at you. So at that point, you want to just stand here and kind of just not move, don't duck or anything, because that'll uh, screw this trick up here. But you want to just duck as soon as the leftmost point of the Banshee is about to touch this uh, line here. You can see there's a shadow over on the left, and the sunlight is hitting the wall on the right side. So you can see there's a pretty uh, big difference between the lighting over here. So once the uh, Banshee's leftmost pod, like its anti-grav pod, its wing, is about to touch this line, uh, you will want to duck. And you want to make sure you duck all the way down because if you just tap uh, the crouch button, you'll kind of do like a half crouch or a quarter crouch. You want to make sure you fully depress the button and you go all the way down. Do some full squats 
Don't do half squats, quarter squats. Don't skip leg day. And once you do crouch, you want to come back up a second later. That will get yourself to be hidden behind this barrier here. And the Banshee will peel off. It'll stop shooting at you because it can't see you anymore. So it will peel off and start flying in this direction, swooping around. And then it will actually kind of crash into this wall and uh, get stuck here at the top of the doorway. And at that point, or before that point, once it gets to about here... You want to, at that point, move up against this door frame. So right about here. And uh, we'll we'll illustrate this, obviously, with the Banshee shortly. But I just want to show you the points uh, that you need to hit. So we want to line ourselves up here. The Banshee will come at us. Once its wing is about to hit that uh, line where the shadow starts, we want to crouch, come back up. The Banshee will swoop over here. And as uh, it approaches the doorway here, we want to let it hit the doorway right before we do so as soon as the banshee is about here we want to start moving forward it will hit the top of the doorway here as we're uh, about to hit right here and then we'll wait a half second or so and then we'll kind of move over into the door frame here on this side so it's a little tough because it's not really a motion you're used to doing so you want to come from wherever this point is here hit this door frame wait a half second and then you really want to be hitting this point over here about so right about there it's a little tough because you're looking straight up of course you're trying to time uh, yourself with the banshee arriving here so uh moving over in this direction is a little weird feeling but once you practice a little bit it will uh it won't be that bad so just to review real quick we're going to come over here line ourselves up at the top of the fourth tile with our targeting reticle lined up with the line here and we want to make sure it's a little on the left side we'll look up there will be a banshee flying at us as soon as it's left wing or the left wing on our side it's right our left is about to touch the uh, shadow here. We're going to duck. It will peel off. We'll uncrouch here. And it will uh, fly over here. And it will, as soon as it gets to about here, you see this dark line here. That's a good uh, point to kind of take into account. As soon as it's about to cross that, you could make your way over here to this door frame right here. Wait a half second, and then we'll move over to here. And at that point, the Banshee should drop down to the ground uh, unmanned. The Elite will actually fall out of it, and you could grab the Banshee and then fly through the rest of the level. But let's try it now with the Banshee here and all the enemies on the bridge. So we're going to come out here to the doorway. We're going to go to this point that we mentioned earlier. We'll look up. Here's the Banshee coming in from the left, and we will crouch as its left wing is about to touch that shadow. Then it'll fly up here. We'll hit that point, go over here. We missed it that time, but we'll try again. That was close. So here we are again one more time. Coming through the hallway. Going through the door. Going to this point. And you could kill these grunts on Legendary. The reason I'm not going to do it in my lasso run through is because they explode. So that is a problem with the funeral skull on. Crouch in here. And here he gives us the Banshee. How nice of him. And here we are back in our original run, the Lasso run, just to illustrate that it works on Lasso as well. And I'm just going to move up here to that point, like I mentioned. And I'm actually going to kill the Grunt on the left. If you want to kill the Grunt on the left, that's fine. Uh, but you don't want to kill the Grunt on the right. The one on the left is far enough away where the explosion won't hurt you. But on the right, that will actually damage you pretty significantly. So don't do that. Um, but just like we were doing in the previous walkthroughs, uh, same thing here. We're going to grab the Banshee. And once you do grab the Banshee, you want to just kind of fly off the bridge, but then dive down a little bit because you can see you're going to take some shots from the surrounding enemies. So just to avoid some fire, just dive down a little bit, and then you won't have to worry about getting blown up by the stray enemy fire. So after that, we're really just flying through the level. There are no more enemies. They have all been despawned. So the only things you really have to worry about now at this point are fall damage. So don't fall from a crazy height. That is still in effect. And also, you could accidentally splatter yourself if you land carelessly. Uh, so just land the Banshee nice and easy. There are certain points where you have to open up doors and things like that with control uh, consoles. So you do have to get out of your Banshee a few times. So just land nice and easy. Don't land carelessly or awkwardly. And you won't have anything to worry about. So that is the end of this guide. I will leave you guys with the video in case you want to see the path that you have to take. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we tackle 343 Guilty Spark on Lasso.
Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the Scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You could also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you could find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.